I just loaded up SpyBot. Um, it really depends on how long ago you have done it. Like for me, I usually do it maybe once every two weeks. I tell people to do it once a week, especially if you know they go to certain sites or they don't know where they're going. And they're not for sure. Then not tell them once a week. Most of the time, I don't even go too far anyway. Um, especially around this time anyway, I do more research um, with my internet. You know, LGN or whatever, and um, I just do it maybe once every two weeks. Um, I thought I had AdWare installed, but I have it installed now. But uh, I didn't know I I didn't have it installed, so I want to install it. It took about a half an hour because it, it's been a first. It's the first time, so pretty much after that, you know, it's pretty much smooth sailing. Uh, same thing with Spaba. Um, Usually for me, it might take about 10 to 15 minutes, usually. Um, then again, you know, I have a 1 gig uh, memory and 2.21 um, gigahertz hard drive. So I guess it all depends on the speed and also depends on what program program is running in the background. Now, you say something about your, your task manager showing uh, a lot of processes. Um, I wouldn't really t too, worry, too much worry about that. Um, what I be worried more about is what you got loaded up in your boot process. I mean, not, yeah, your boot process, your startup items down here. All this down here. Um, if you have a lot of them, then maybe you want to cut some of that off to save you some boot up time. And what you do, um, use it in simple mode. You get it in simple mode with nothing on the bottom down here. So what you do is go to mode advanced mode is going to ask you are you sure and all that and just hit yes then you see the stuff down here go down where it says tools go to system startup now system startup is all that stuff that's down here now that's what loads up every time now all you have to do is um, you look over here just to see what what you're playing with now from where it says when log on all this stuff don't touch um, don't mess with that now stuff like uh, I got this for example I got this palm one registration um, thing um, that all that does just shows up about registration because I installed it for my phone just uncheck it and what's going to happen when you boot up again it's not going to it's not going to load it up you're taking it off and like this HP stuff I just installed a new printer so I'm gonna go ahead and take that off as well um, and you pretty much just look around to see um, if you see anything suspicious sometimes the yellows mean the yellow me could mean a uh, uh, it could be a warning if you see anything in red that's not a good sign automatically take it off the green means it's a good sign you know that that program is familiar with that so that's fine the stuff in yellow they're not too uh, keen on yet um, may not be part of their uh, program, you know, uh, legitimate. But most of these are leg legitimate, and all you have to do is just uh, take them off, like quit time, um, you know, stuff that you necessarily don't have to load up at the beginning that you can load up later. Like, uh, like I said, like my HP printer, I don't use it all the time. Uh, I just use it for like scanning. I don't even use it for printing most of the time because I have a laser printer. I do use a scanner but I don't use it every time so that shouldn't be loaded up I'd rather go ahead and load it up myself uh, instead of wasting the time of the uh, startup process and then you just look around and check everything that you don't you, you think that uh, you don't want and pretty much the value tell you what kind of program it is and then you go from there um, a lot of people might get this Yahoo pager which is Yahoo Ma messenger it just it, if you check it that just mean and when you start up your computer every time, Yahoo will automatically boot up unless you tell it not to sign in automatically. And then, you know, you just sign in whenever. Um, you might get one like that. That's my Bluetooth. Um, that's my high sync. You know, stuff like that, it, you know, pretty much, it was pretty much explanatory right on the, on the value here. And sometimes you can find out um, where that program is. Um, on your C drive or your D drive, whatever your main system root drive is, it would show you here. Um, 
and that's probably the best way you could figure out if you have a lot of programs on your ta on your taskbar. This is probably the way to do it. And again, if you're starting from here, you go to mode and advance, and then you go to tools and system startup, and it'll show you all this stuff. Uh, my stuff would definitely be different from yours and anybody else's or whatever. But um, and then you just check off the green is good. Yellow, yellow is like a warning. If you get any red any red at all uncheck it and then run the check run your spy bot check run it because that's definitely spyware um, as for uh, adware uh, that's pretty much self explanatory as well um, I don't do a full scan unless I really have to most of the time um, the smart scan is very good because it picks up because usually most spyware goes into certain spots and that's what the smart scan comes in at so I will probably uh, use smart scan full if you want to do a full scan I will probably do that at night you might have to leave your computer on at night when you finish with it leave it running all night and um, do it that way but I wouldn't do it during the day especially if you're doing some work on a computer Smart scan you can get away with because not as long, but the full scan may take longer. I think it takes as long as you run an antivirus. Full scan is around the same time because they check everything. So I will stick with the smart plan if you're working on something. But if you're not working on anything, you're not going to be on the computer, or you want to leave it on all night to be sure, do a full scan. And that's pretty much it. Um, hope that helps, and uh, good luck.